Welcome to Solve It with Sir Jude. Today we will be discussing about solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. So this is one of the topics included in the most essential learning competencies. And it's actually the continuation of our last discussion about illustrating quadratic equations and rewriting them in standard form. Root property states that if x squared is equal to k, then x is equal to positive negative square root of k, where k is a non-negative number. So, kailan ba natin uh, pwedeng gamitin si solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots? So, it is most convenient and easiest to use if the linear term is missing. If you can recall, the standard form of Quadratic equation is given by ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Si bx doon ay ang ating linear term. So kapag wala si bx, wala si linear term, pwede natin gamitin si extracting square roots. So ito yung ilan sa mga examples ng mga quadratic equation na pwede natin gamitan ng extracting square roots. Yan. Si x squared minus 16 equals 0. Wala siyang linear term. Same with 3b squared minus 6 is equal to 15. Or a squared is equal to 36. Special case tong susunod. The square of the binomial x minus 3 minus 16 is equal to 0. Yung huling example na si square of the binomial x minus 3 minus 16 is equal to 0, pwede rin siyang gamitan ng extracting square roots. So, papaano gagawin? Tingnan natin mamaya. So, ano-ano ba yung mga steps na kailangan nating tandaan kapag tayo ay nagsosolve ng quadratic equation by extracting square roots? So, una, kailangan i-isolate natin yung constant. Okay? Kailangan si constant ay nasa kabilang side ng ating equation. So, next, we should make sure that the coefficient of the quadratic term is 1. Kailangan daw si a equal kay 1. And of course, the last one, after natin malam magawa na si a ay maging equal kay 1, we will be applying the square root property by extracting both sides of the equation. So now, let us have some examples. Ayan ang ating mga examples na kailangan nating isolve using extracting square roots. Okay. So to proceed, let us have item number one, example number one. So we need to solve for x squared minus 20 is equal to negative 4. So kailangan, una natin gagawin, step number one, isolate the constant. Nasaan ba si constant dyan? Ito si negative 20, kailangan nasa kabilang side siya ng ating equation. Ayan, kailangan si negative 20 matransfer sa kabila. So to do that, we will be using your addition property. Ito rin yung tinatawag nating transpose. Kailangan natin i-transpose si negative 20 sa kabilang side ni equation. So ano magiging resulta? Pagiging x squared minus 20 plus 20 is equal to negative 4 plus 20. At kung mapapansin natin itong part na to ni quadratic equation, ay negative 20 plus 20 will be 0. So ang matitira na lang sa ating left side will be x squared. And then, yung right side naman natin, negative 4 plus 20 will give us 16. So therefore, the new equation will be, ayan, x squared is equal to 16. Then, step number 2, we should make sure na ang value ni a ay equal kay 1. So kung mapapansin natin dito sa ating equation, ano bang value ni a? Okay, ano bang numerical coefficient ni x squared dito? Sir, wala pong number. So automatic na kapag walang number ito, therefore, the value will be 1. So absweld na tayo doon. So we are through with that. We will now be going with step number 3. So what is step number 3? We will be applying the square root property by extracting the square roots of both sides of the equation. So x squared is equal to 16. Ayan yung dati nating equation. Then, extract natin both sides of the equation. So kung mapapansin natin, sabi sa square root property, kapag nag extract it should come with positive and negative. Okay? So the square root of x squared will be x and the square root of 16, so isip tayo ng number na kapag minultiply sa sarili, 16 ang lalabas. So that will be 
4. So therefore, the solutions of this equation, x squared minus 20 is equal to negative 4, will be x equals positive negative 4. Yeah. So to sum up, x is equal to positive negative 4. So those are the solutions. So therefore, if we are going to find the solution set, the solution set will be the numbers containing positive negative 4. Or pwede natin siyang paghiwalayin as negative 4, comma, positive 4. So when we are finding or rewriting the solutions in a solution set, kailangan natin gumamit ng ating mga curly braces. At sa pagsusulat ng solution set, yung order ng ating solutions, pwede siyang pwede magkabaliktad. Pero mas maganda kung i-arrange natin siya in ascending order. So meaning, yung smaller uh, solution muna followed by the larger solution. So, tapos na tayo sa item number 1. So, next, item number 2 na tayo. So, solve for 3x squared minus 75 is equal to 0. So, uh, step number 1, i-isolate natin si constant. Sino ba si constant dyan? Si negative 75. Si negative 75, ilipat natin sa kapila. So, to do that, we will be uh, applying your addition property. So, kailangan matanggal si negative 75. So, therefore, mag a tayo both sides of the equation by 75. Okay? So, if you can see, these terms can be simplified. So, negative 75 plus 75 will be 0. So, ang matitira sa ating left side will be 3x squared is equal to 0 plus 75 will be 75. So next, after natin ma-isolate si constant, let us go with the second step. Ano ba yung second step? Make sure that the value of a is equal to 1. So in this case, ang value ng uh, a natin is 3. So kailangan maging 1. So papaano natin gagawin maging 1 si a? We need to divide both sides of the equation by 3. So i-divide natin yan by 3. So 3x squared divided by 3 will become x squared. So, ayun na. Tanggal na si 3. So, ang matitira doon ay 1. Bakit 1? 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. Is now equal to 75 divided by 3. 75 divided by 3 is 25. So, therefore, the resulting equation will be x squared is equal to 25. So, ano na ang kasunod na gagawin natin after natin ma-make sure na ang value ni A ay equal to 1? So, kung mapapansin natin dito, ang A na natin ay equal to 1. So, next, step 3, i-apply na natin yung square root property. Okay? Then, we need to solve for the unknown. We need to extract the square roots of both sides of the equation. Ayan. So, therefore, kailangan natin tandaan na, na yung root, or yung solution should come with positive and a negative sign. So, the square root of x squared is x. But how about the square root of 25? We should think of a number multiplied by itself. The result will be 25. So, therefore, alam kayo niisip mo, x is equal to positive negative 5, which is correct. Now, so, the value of x that will satisfy this given equation, the 3x squared minus 75 equals 0, will be positive and negative 5. At kapag hinahanap natin yung ating solution set, that will be the set of numbers including positive and negative 5. Again, curly braces ang ginagamit or it can be separated as negative 5, 5. Okay, so let us now go to example number 3. Ano ba ang ating example number 3? It is given by x squared plus 16 is equal to negative 20. So first step ulit tayo, we need to isolate the constant. Ano bang constant natin? Si 16, i-isolate natin si 16, ilipat natin sa kabila. Okay? So ilipat sa kabila si 16, anong i-add natin both sides using addition property? Ilangan makansal si 16 or maging 0. We will be adding negative 16 both sides. Okay? So, kung mapapansin natin, if you are going to simplify the terms, so, 16 plus negative 16 is now 0. Ang matitira na sa ating left side will be x squared. Next, doon naman tayo sa kabilang side. Negative 20 plus negative 16. So, this part. 
Okay? So, negative 20 plus negative 16 will give us negative 36. That's it. Very good. So, next, step number 2, pailangan nating siguraduhin na ang ating equation, na ang value ni A sa ating equation will be 1. So, in this case, kung mapapansin natin, the value of our A is actually 1. So, therefore, we will go immediately with step number 3. So, what is our step number 3? So, kung maaalala mo, we will be applying the square root property. Then, we will be solving for the unknown value of the variable, which is x. So, ayan. x squared is equal to negative 36. Then, upon extracting square roots, magkakaroon tayo ng ganyang equation. So, what is the square root of x squared? The square root of x squared is x. Ngayon, is equal to positive negative, square root of negative 36. Can you think of a number multiplied by itself? Negative 36 ang lalabas? Wala, di ba? So, therefore, kapag kaganyan, ang magiging sagot will be no real solution. So, kung mapapansin natin, kung babalikan natin yung square root property, the value of k must be greater than or equal to 0. So, bawal siyang maging negative. But in this case, yung value ni k niya ay negative 36. Since wala tayong may isip na number na kapag minultiply sa sarili ay negative 36 ang lalabas, therefore, ang sagot will be no real solution. Kasi lahat naman ng numbers na kapag minultiply mo sa sarili will still be positive. Alimbawa, 3. 3 times 3 will be positive 9. As well as negative 3. Halimbawa, negative 3 times negative 3, that will still be positive 9. Let us go with example number 4. We need now to solve 5x squared minus 17 is equal to 33. Step number 1, i-isolate natin si negative 17. Si negative 17, kailangan na handun siya sa kabilang side kasama ni 33. So using addition property, or yung tinatawag natin, transpose natin si negative 17. Yan, mag-add tayo ng positive 17. So, kung mapapansin natin, if we are going to um, simplify negative 17 plus 17, that will be 0. So, therefore, the left side of the equation, 5x squared na lang siya. So, next, 33 plus 17, that will give us 50. Okay? So, next, tandaan natin si 5x squared is equal to 50. Na-isolate na natin si constant eh, na pagsama natin, kaya naging 50. So next, step number 2, kailangan nating siguraduhin na ang value ni A ay equal kay 1. Pero in our case, the value of A is 5. So papaano ulit tatanggalin si 5? So we will be dividing both sides of the equation by 5. That is correct. So 5x squared divided by 5. So 5 divided by 5 will give us 1. So, matitira na lang ay x squared. And then, 50 divided by 5, that will be 10. Correct. So, therefore, we have x squared is equal to 10. So, in this case, na ang value ni A na dito ay 1. So, then we will proceed with the last step. So, what is the last step? Again, we need to apply the square root property, then solve for the unknown. So, x squared is equal to 10. Extract natin yung square roots both sides. So, the square root of x squared is x. How about the square root of 10? Okay, if you can see, 10 is not a perfect square. Tama ba? Okay, so therefore, the value of x will be positive negative square root of 10. So therefore, ang ating solutions will be positive negative square root of 10. If we are going to find the solution set, what will be the solution set? The set of numbers including positive negative square root of 10 or pwede natin silang paghiwalayin as negative, 10, ne negative square root of 10 comma square root of 10. We will now go with the last example. So, ito yung uh, nakita natin kanina na square of the binomial x minus 2 minus 9 is equal to 0. So, papaano yan isosolve? Okay? So, pwede nating ituring na si square of the binomial, x minus 2, etong side na to, siya si quadratic term. Okay? Kasi siya yung naka-squared. And then, si negative 9 naman yung ating constant term. 
So to do extracting square roots in this case, ang gagawin lang natin parehas pa din. We need to isolate the constant. Sino bang constant dito? Si negative 9. Okay? Si negative 9, i-transfer natin sa kabila. Okay? So by the addition property, mag-add tayo ng positive 9 sa bawat side ng equation. Then i-simplify natin itong mga terms na to. So we have negative 9 plus 9, that will give us 0. So ang manitira sa side na to will be the square of the binomial x minus 2 is equal to, dito naman tayo sa kabilang side. So, 0 plus 9 will be 9. Yan, na-isolate na natin yung constant. So, next, kailangan we should make sure that the value of a is equal to 1. Ano ba yung katabi ng ating naka-square na expression dito? Eto, ano bang nasa number dyan? So, sabi sabihin natin na wala. So, it is understood that the numerical coefficient here is 1. Okay? So, next. Since 1 na yan, we will go with the next step, which is, ayan. Mapapansin natin ang value ni a ay 1. Sasabihin natin invisible, di natin makita, kasi wala talagang number, it is automatically 1. So, then we proceed with step number 3. So, we will be applying the square root property here. Okay? So, out of this equation, we will be extracting the square roots. So, the square root of the square of the binomial x minus 2, so, applying your uh, exponents, loss of exponents, magiging x minus 2 na lang yan. And at the same time, kung mapapansin natin, si positive 9, or the square root of 9 here, will be positive negative 3. Okay? So, ang magiging resulta, we have x minus 2 is equal to positive negative 3. So, hindi pa yan yung mismong values ni x. Kailangan pa nating hanapin yung values ni x. Okay? So, meron lang additional na step, pero madali pa rin. So, kailangan natin uh, paghiwalayin yung dalawang values ni 3. Remember na meron tayo ditong isang positive at isang negative. Paghiwalayin natin yan. Okay? So, ito si positive 3, tsaka si negative 3. Pero we will still be using the same um, expression on the left side, which is x minus 2. So, ang magiging equation will be x minus 2 is equal to positive 3. So, ito yung first root na positive, positive 3. And then the other one will be x minus 2 is equal to negative 3. So, then, dito muna tayo sa unang equation na to. So, using addition property of equality, ayan, ilipat natin, i-transpose natin, that will be x is equal to 3 plus 2 na yan. Tama ba? Pag nilipat natin, nag-transpose tayo, yung expression nagbabago ng sign. Okay? So, 3 plus 2, therefore, the value of x is 5. How about on the second equation, given by x minus 2 is equal to negative 3? So, ganun din. Transpose natin si negative 2 or ilipat natin sa kapila. So, therefore, we will be having an equation x is equal to negative 3 plus 2. Pagsamahin natin, negative 3 plus 2. The answer will be x equals negative 1. So, therefore, ang solutions ng equation na to will be x equals negative 1 and 5. So, kapag hinahanap natin yung solution set, the solution set will be the set of numbers including negative 1 and 5.
Okay. So, ano nga ba ang mga sagot sa ating given na quadratic equations? So, eto sila. Ayan. So, sana nakakuha ka ng... Nakuha mo yung tamang sagot na uh, upon solving using extracting square roots. So, we have number 1, x equals positive negative 12. Number 2, x is equal to positive negative square root of 7. Number 3, no real solution. And number 4, x equals negative 6 and 4. So, thank you for watching our video lesson for today about solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. The next video lesson will be all about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Papaano naman kaya kapag ka factoring? So, kung nakatulong sa'yo itong video lesson na ito, maaari bang pakisubscribe, pakilike, at, at pakihit ang ating notification bells. Bye!